Hey there folks, so this is probably going to be a real quick video. Um, I don't know how interesting it'll be and I, to be honest, at this point, I don't know what the specific problem is, so I, I, I don't know. D depending on what, how, how it works out might even depend on whether or not you see this video. So if you're getting this far, well then you know it's going to be at least somewhat of an interesting one. Uh, but anyway, um, I just got uh, my gift from my holiday exchange partner. Uh, every year, a uh, gentleman by the name of Mr. Chrono or Dr. Game Boy PhD, depending on depending on where you know him from, uh, runs a holiday exchange through the Game Boy subreddit. And um, well, I just got my partner's gift. Unfortunately for him, I haven't shipped his gift yet, and I I do feel pretty bad about it. But uh, you you know how it is. We'll get there eventually. Um, sorry, dude, but I promise it'll be worth the wait. But anyway, I want to go over quickly what he sent me because I, I just think it's awesome. Um, a boxed Pokemon Mini. This thing is freaking sweet. I have no idea what I'm doing with it because, unfortunately, none of it is in English. Um, I fired it up. It let me do some settings. I'll play with it a little, but there's, there's only so much I can do. I'll, I'll play with it some more, but for now, I just... I just want to leave it. It's um, this is definitely going on the shelf, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it too much, and I'm not gonna do anything at all with it in the video. And it's you know it's not like it's a new in box thing. This is it's used. I don't feel bad about uh, playing with it, and it is heckin' sweet. I will it does have all the documentation from what I can tell. I'll I'll box this back up later. I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, the more interesting thing are the other things that I got. Uh, so we got a boxed copy of Tetris Flash. Uh, works pretty good. Played it a little, believe it or not. I've never actually played this game. And um, I put all of three minutes into it, so I, I can't tell you how it is, but I like Tetris. I like box games, so you've done well, my dude. Uh, but anyway, again, also not the, not really what I want to get into for this video. This is the uh, interesting thing. So this is a boxed Game Boy Pocket. The box has seen better days and so too has the Game Boy Pocket. I've already been in here. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's too many accessories. I don't know what is supposed to come with these, but at the very least, I know something is missing up here. I am presuming that's just supposed to be a pair of batteries, which quite frankly, I'm glad they're not there because they'd be uh, disgusting. <laughs> If they were, they'd be over 20 years old. Uh, but here's the Game Boy itself. It's it's relatively clean. It could use a little TLC. Um, I might have to clean it up after the video. Just go in there and, and uh, hit it with some soap and water. But my concern is actually... Of course, now it's not doing it. Um, there was some awful rattling that's not from the buttons sounded like something had broken off the Game Boy and is just rattling around on the inside. So we're going to pull it apart and we're going to inspect it. Of course, the Game Boy itself does work perfectly. Like, there's there's zero issues with it. I have no need to tear this thing down. Um, I just... That rattling does have me a little bit concerned, and because of who I am as a person, I can't leave well enough alone. So, let's let's see what's in there. see if there's any surprises. Right off the hop, that screw was extremely loose, so... We'll see. This is giving me the someone's been in here vibes. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just not so sure I'm comfortable with that rattling, because if it's anything metallic, I don't want it to short. nothing loose on the back. The board itself is pretty clean. Got a little bit of dust and I think I already see the problem. So it looks like the uh, toroid for the uh, power converter is uh, a little bit messed up. Um, unfortunately that is not a part I can replace. I can replace that whole board. Here are the parts that were rattling around. 
uh, get out of there. Thankfully, the speaker grabbed them up. I don't, I don't think that those are metallic, so I don't think there would have been an issue with them rattling around. There is a screwdriver. Here we go. But I don't suppose we can't get it cleaned up anyhow. As you saw, there's really no benefit to doing this. Um, the Game Boy does work. I don't know what specifically... Oh, let me get that unhooked. I don't understand power supply design enough to speculate on what specifically this part does and how that being damaged will affect it, uh, but the Game Boy does still work. Um, let me get that cleaned up a little bit later. But just for the sake of uh, you know having a nice, nice clean boxed Game Boy, I think we're gonna replace this board. So that makes that's a little sketchy. And if nothing else, I do actually have a spare one, so it's not not the end of the world. Clean up some of the dust on that. Oh, we're gonna have to replace the speaker too, because some of the uh, some of the part got under the cone, and I won't be able to get that out without ripping the cone out, because it's magnetic. Oh, that's unfortunate. As a replacement speaker for an OEM Game Boy, I do not have. Hmm. Let me go grab the uh, replacement board I do have, though. I, I mean, we can always slap a PP in here, but... This is a stock Game Boy. We want to keep it stock. I made the mistake of modding one of the previous gifts I got, and then I broke the Jesus thing. Like, how many Game Boys do I break? It's 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 a very small number. I can count on one hand how many Game Boys I've broken. It's not five. Um, I can count on one hand how many Game Boys I've broken, and of course that is one of them. So I don't I don't want to mod this. I'm I'm actually a little apprehensive to even try fixing it, but. Screw it. Let's get it done. Worst, worst, absolute worst case scenario, I do have another board we can throw in that thing and pretend this never happened. Um, but, hmm, we'll see. Anyway, let me grab the parts. All right, all's well that ends well. I found it. This was actually the board from uh, the pocket color I made. And when I extracted that, I just threw it in the baggie. Didn't really do anything with it. Should work fine. Um, once I get these holes cleaned up and the uh, headers reinserted. But, uh, yeah, screw it. Let's go for it, see what happens. I should use my brand new desoldering iron that I, uh, got over the holidays, but I neglected to set that up ahead of time, so we'll have to save it for another video. But this one does not have a broken um, transformer, so hopefully it won't cause us any issues. The spec should be the same. Extraction, super easy. Just come in here, heat up the joint, come in with the solder sucker, and suck out that solder. One of the downsides of this design clogs excessively easy. But it works like a hot damn. And a 
all went well, just pop that out. Oh, come on. And I guess I'll save that. Uh, I'm sure it'll come in handy, broken uh, transformer or not. And then we just gotta pop the new one in. I should clean up that hole I just filled with solder though. Just making sure we don't need to clean up the bottom side of that because we won't be able to get to it once this is on. And I'll do this side first just because it'll be a little bit easier to get to. side. I'm going to do this bottom pin. We'll come back and fix that joint later. I just want to make sure it is nice and flush. I'll do one of these sides here. Same thing. And flush, and now I should be good to go do the rest. I don't like how much solder is on that. That easy. Now I should just clean up some of that flux. Even though that flux was there, that's factory flux. I kind of messed it up when I went in and touched it up. So I think I shall clean some of it up. I need a little bit of isopropyl. cotton swab. I'll just come in here like that. Break off some of the stubborn bits. as it is. Get this top side real quick. I wasn't as careful as I should have been when I was extracting this the first time around, so there's lots of little itty bits of uh, solder spatter. All 
otherwise, I think we're good to go. Nothing else really needs cleaning. I mean, those contacts are super shiny. I suppose I can touch up the speaker a little bit. Not much can be done about that uh, chunk stuck in the cone, though. We'll have to, I'll have to come back and replace that with an OEM speaker when I have a uh, good one I can swap in. So I have this one sitting on my desk, but I don't think that'll be an improvement. But then again, that one sitting on my desk was only ever for testing. It wasn't for uh, OEM repairs, hence why it's sitting on my desk. All right. Quick reassembly, make sure I didn't mess anything up. Funny how it works, I'll go all day with no Discord messages. The second I start filming. No, I'm kidding. Enough for now. At least there's no more uh, rattling. And despite that uh, chunk of ferrous material stuck in the speaker cone, it does still sound fine. A little on the quiet side, but there we go. Nice and done. So I'm gonna tear this thing down again. Um, I just wanna get a little bit cleaned up. It's It's got some wear and tear, and I've already got it apart, so what the heck, why not? Uh, but I'm gonna do that off camera, because it's gonna be a lot of hurry up and wait for it to dry and such like that. And I guess I'll save this for uh, troubleshooting, because it does, it does work, just not necessarily something I want in the um, in a Game Boy that belongs on the shelf. So, uh, anyway, that's all I got. I'll catch you all next time. Oh, and before anyone asks, yeah, I, I don't know where to source one of these OEM spec ones. It, like I said, it literally just came out of another Game Boy. Um, if you have, you know, one of these, like a replacement regulator, and you're installing it in a modded Game Boy, of course, save the... Uh, original regulator so you can throw it in something that you want to keep stock but there you go that's all i got guys thanks for watching catch you all next time and uh thanks thanks to a reddit user by the name of hyfro he's the one who sent this stuff to me um and again if you're watching this hyfro i'm sorry i promise i'll get your package soon i promise it'll be good it'll be worth the wait anyway see you later